Hey there, this is Sam Conan. Most of you know that I'm a literature teacher and I wanted to share with you today uh, one of the most insightful things from my class discussions. Today we were talking about Thomas Aquinas's Summa Theologica in which Thomas argues that the essence of a man isn't his soul, but it's the union of body and soul. And that's what makes a human a human when he has a soul and a body joined together which means that neither the body nor the soul are more important than the other. Both are essential, and a human being needs both united in order to be fully human. That is in stark contrast to the Greco-Roman perspective of the human, which, and they argue that the, the soul was fundamental to the human being. Uh, the early medievals argued something similar. Uh, that's also in stark contrast to today. Uh, we tend to think of a human being we tend to prioritize human beings more in terms of their body. We give far more emphasis to the body. Uh, we spend more time at the gym uh, honing and sculpting and shape, shaping and tweaking and twisting uh, to get our body just right. And we neglect the spiritual disciplines. We neglect the mind. We neglect um, uh, prayer. We neglect uh, meditation. We ne neglect all of those things. And so we've come um, the, the op exact opposite. Ironically, however, because this is Christmas, this is the season of incarnation, the season to celebrate and prepare ourselves, uh, well, Advent is to prepare ourselves for Christmas, uh, the feast of good things, of wine on the lees and, and great good things. Ironically, with all of our emphasis on the body and, and how important it is, we also neglect the goodness of created things. So we'll, we'll overemphasize our body and give it plenty of attention at the gym, but then when it comes time to feast, we'll hold back. Instead of, instead of enjoying the good things that God has given us, we hold back and watch our weights. We uh, try to avoid, we try to avoid the goodness of incarnate things uh, on the holidays. So I challenge you this holiday season to, um, to throw yourself into your humanity, your, the goodness of your body, the goodness of your soul. Enjoy that union and understand that as you enjoy God's good things to you in feasts during the holiday season, that your, as, your body, as your body grows fatter, your soul grows fatter as well. That's it. I'll see you again later.